In the state of Texas, at a West Memorial Junior High School, a seventh grader was told to put the words myth by God on her school assignment. Jordan Woolley, a 12-year-old student, testifies before the school board about this very assignment that she was given and how she just couldn't do that, of course, because her faith in Jesus Christ. Check out this bold young lady who stands up for the truth in Texas. Take a look. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. A seven-year-old girl in the state of Texas at West Memorial Junior High School was reportedly told by her teacher to put the word myth by who God is. And she, a seven-year-old daughter, after texting her mother, we'll have this text in a moment, 12-year-old daughter, she uh, testified before the school board. I mean, she's barely taller than the podium. And she was talking boldly for God and what actually happened in the classroom. This is happening in classrooms all across America. And we need to take a stand just like Jordan Woolley did. Let's take a look at her. This is her testifying before the school board what actually happened. Jordan Woolley. You have five minutes to speak to us. If you don't want to use that time, you don't just as much as you want. Um, today I was given an assignment in school that questioned my faith and told me that I, that God was not real. Um, our teacher had started off saying that the assignment had been given problems all day and um, we were asked to take a poll to say whether God is fact, opinion, or a um, myth and she told anyone who said that a fact or opinion was wrong and that God is only a myth. And she started saying, um, telling kids that they were completely wrong and that when kids would argue, she had told them that we would get in trouble. And whenever we asked why we were led to believe that he was true, if he is untrue, she told us to ask our past pastors. Um, when I tried to argue, she told me to prove it, and I tried to reference things such as the Bible and stories that I've read before from people that have died and went to heaven but have come back and told their stories, and she told me that both were just things that people were doing to get attention, and um, I know that it wasn't just me. Uh, who was affected by it. My friend, um, she went home and she started crying. And uh, she was actually supposed to come with me, but she didn't think she could. So um, my friend, she turned in her paper and she had still put that God was a fact and to be true. And my teacher crossed her crossed the answer out several times to telling her that it was completely wrong. And one of my other friends, she got really upset and she started arguing with the teacher and the teacher got mad. And my friend, she wound up slamming everything off of her desk because uh, she got really aggravated with the whole issue. And whenever my friend and I came home, we immediately told our parents about it and uh, we called the principal and she said that she would handle it but she said that the teacher had already already gone home and another child in my class had asked the teacher if we could like try to put what we believe in on the paper and she said you can if you want to get the problem wrong, which will fail. You'll fail the paper if you do. And um, I felt like this was really wrong, and I didn't feel like it was fair 
for my faith and my religion to have anything to do with what I'm learning about in school. And I had known before that it, I know that our schools aren't really supposed to teach us much about religion or question anything about religion. And when I tried to talk to my teacher about it, she told me that it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with religion because the problem was just saying that there is no God. Mr. Friday. Thank you. First of all, thanks for coming tonight. I'm truly sorry that you feel your faith was questioned. As you point out, the principal was made aware of this today, and 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 we'll have a chance to, to to work on that as per district policy and procedures. So, so thank you for coming tonight. We will definitely look into that. Very much appreciate it. Very brave of you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, honey. Good job, honey. Yes, thank you, Miss Jordan. Oh, we have, ma'am. We have one little quick question. Clarifying. I may have missed it. What grade were you in again? I'm in seventh grade. Seventh grade. Okay, Ms. thank you. Mr. President, clarifying question. What, Mr. DeBrell. What school? Oh, I Mr. I'd rather we not have that at this point in time. That that's uh, you, you have a resolution process that we need to follow. And I think getting into these details right now would be out violating your own process. Your process. It would be unfair to a lot of folks, and, uh, and putting, putting her on the spot is not a good thing. I would, my recommendation. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. It was a, we're brave of you. Thank you. What's interesting, it was very brave of this young seven year, seven, seventh grade student to say that, but it wasn't brave of the superintendent to stand up and say what, what he just said. By the way, the name of her school is West Memorial Junior High in Texas. They told her, based on her story, and why would the girl make this up? Why would she even do all that? As a matter of fact, we're going to show you her text that goes back and forth to her mother that was shocked, and also a report of what the superintendent is saying uh, to the public. 12-year-old 7th grade student in Texas. Texas. <laughs> Texas. But, you know, it makes me think of Santa Rosa County in uh, Florida, the Panhandle of Florida. It's a right. very conservative area in Florida. And pretty much if you go to Santa Rosa County, I think there is a church every five blocks, you know, that you could see. And there's mm. even more church, more Christians. And uh, um, they put a sign up just this week based on what the superintendent said that, you know, because we had the superintendent of another county in uh, the panhandle, uh, Malcolm Thomas, right. uh, for Scambia County School System, school, Scambia County school, school System, and he says, you know, that they say the Pledge of Allegiance every morning, but they put up in the Santa Rosa schools saying that uh, the sign that says it's optional, you do not have wow. to, to uh, say the Pledge of Allegiance. What is happening? Can Think you, about that. Can you imagine telling your kids, like, cleaning your room is it totally is. optional. Yeah. optional. You know, if you, if it's totally optional if you don't want to go defend the country, it's just totally optional. Wow. If you don't want to eat your vegetables, it's just totally optional. <laughs> uh, you know, so, Amazing. so now you have, and, and I really believe the young people the young people and next week we're going to have part of our program. We're going to have uh, some of our uh, interns, you know, talking about their, their experiences in the internship program. And if you, I'm telling you, don't think you need to get to a certain point in your life before you can do something for God. Don't mess it up. Yeah. Now's the time to get involved and uh, we can find out more at VFNTV.com about the internship. Um, but she, here she is standing boldly before these grownups mm -hmm. telling them what her experience was in the classroom and um, in, in, in that, um, she's so brave, you know, her brave, own but mother. they wouldn't even let her say the name of her own school. This is her <laughs> own personal experience and they couldn't even share it. Scared. Scared we, we had the same school. situation. I know with a, with oh, a yeah. child that she talked about the ants were created by God and the teacher comes up and says, we don't talk about God here. Right? No, you don't talk that's about right. God. Here. We talk that's about right. God. I mean, this is what we're coming to, and that's what the, the magazine decision by the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association was talking about. You know, when a nation turns its back on God, what do you do when they're mm -hmm. denying, you know, God exists? You got to do like this 12 year old girl. You got to, we got to do like Jordan Woolley. Now, listen to this. This is a report that came in where the superintendent goes out and starts talking in a very nice way, John. In a very nice way, they say she was not telling the truth. Look at this text. Look at the text oh, yeah. that. That her mother, she's texting her mother right here. You got to see this thing. I don't know if y'all can see it on the screen. But uh, this text, yeah, look at this text. She says, in this particular text, can you put up on the screen that can see it there? It says, um, she's uh, writing to her mother. She says, hey, mom, uh, uh, 
So we had a re- reading requirement to say that God is just a myth, mm. right? I thought that if a question was against our religion, that we we could do whatever we thought was true or say whatever we thought was true as we sing in there. And then her mother comes back and says, wait, what? Explanation mark, explanation mark. Question mark, question myth? mark, question mark. Question mark, I mean, yeah, question mark, question mark, question mark. It says, uh, we, and then she comes back, she says, we had to deny that God is real. Yeah, we had to say that he was just a myth. I mean, think about this. Why would this, why would this 12-year-old girl and you're going to see that the paper right here in a moment, and it says very specifically on this paper that you get 20 points, which means if you don't do it, you don't get 20 points. Mm. You know, she was supposed to write myth by God, but that wow. superintendent, she came and told them he wouldn't even let her name, name the school. Of course, we told you what the name of the school is, but the fact is, is that uh, he comes out and basically in a very nice way mm-hmm. says this little girl ain't telling the truth. It's not wow. telling the truth. As a matter of fact, let's take a look. This was a mistake this time, I do believe, and I think we've all learned from this. Katie Superintendent Alton Fraley says the investigation into this incident is concluded, and he did say the discussion about God did not belong in the classroom. And one of those statements, which I do not approve of, was there is a God, and then is that a fact, opinion, or common assertion? Highly inappropriate. Will, has not been used again, will not be used. In fact, it's literally in the trash can. Jordan Woolley stood before the school board Monday night saying that to get the question right, the teacher expected them to answer God was a common assertion or myth and that her faith told her God was a fact. Jordan says it was a graded assignment and the discussion became argumentative and upsetting. And if I had any reason to believe any evidence to support it, that a teacher did do what has been alleged. I will stand with Jordan as well. But based upon the facts of the principal's investigation, those assertions just are not true. Fraley says he is not calling Jordan a liar, but Fox 26 has spoken to other parents who have said that Jordan's statements are accurate. Fraley himself says he has not talked to any of his parents. I haven't spoken to anybody. I know Mrs. Cobb has spoken to at least one other parent. Ms. Cobb is the principal of the school who claims the assignment was not meant for a grade, despite several parents telling Fox 26 it absolutely was. The assignment was not intended for a grade. Uh, it was not intended for a grade through the lesson planning or communicated to the students that the assignment was going to be taken for a grade. Why did the assignment say on it that it was worth 20 points? That section. Did you see it? Yes. Why did it say 20 points? I don't have that answer for you at this time. Exactly. Point. The assignment itself was not an assigned. Is God factual or is he a myth? And you get 20 <laughs> points. She says, why did it say 20 points? If it was just optional, why was it 20 points? You see All it? Right. Do you see it? Do you see it? And it's like you're seeing the paper. And, you know, if you remember what school's like, every point counts. Every grade Absolutely. counts. Absolutely. That's what not parents that. discipline their children for their grades not being up, right? What a young and impressionable age. This is a 12-year-old girl who's in the seventh grade in the middle school. If you don't remember, that's, that's a very tough age and period for a young person. And to be able to to publicly take a bold stand like that, I commend that young yes. lady. And I encourage other young yes. uh, students that are watching VFN TV. This is yeah. your generation. It's important that uh, we even had the superintendent of school say that it, if a student uh, boldly proclaims their faith, for Jesus Christ, then they certainly can. That you have that the constitutional right. right. They're the constitutional not going to be right to do that. Yeah, and 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 two, you know, of course, be truthful. You know, make sure you got your facts together, but do not. This is the point in time. You know, it, this is the test for everyone. Are you going to deny God? Mm. Uh, according to Decision Magazine, Billy Graham Evangelistic Association, he talks about how to keep your faith. Why a nation denies the existence of God. And because the nation right now, it's being challenged, you know, and there's a lot of groundwork that didn't just get here like this. But this is time for you to say, I believe in God. Yeah. It's time for, for to find out who, in whom do you believe. Who, you know, Jesus said to the disciples, he said, uh, who, are, who do they say I am? You know, who do the Democrats say I am? Who do the Republicans say I am? Who do the independents say I am? Who do the pastors say mm. I am? I mean, he went through a list yeah. of a couple of different folks. But then he said, then he said, Jesus said, who do you say I am? 
And that's very important. Eternity rests on your thoughts, who you think God is to you. And he said, truly, you are the son of God. And Jesus says, flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my father in heaven. That is the revelation, understanding who he is and who he is to you is the most important thing. So you can't you know, just casually just say, hey, I'm going to deny God today, but tomorrow it's going to be, I mean, you can, but Peter did that, you know, and God rescued him, but he, it's called mercy. It was a huge <laughs> rescue for him. If you go back and read it, he denied him three times. And that was a difficult thing. When you see your leader being crucified, he did everything right, healed everybody. And he's being treated so unjustly by man. And he saw that. And now somebody says, are you related to, that's where we are right now. Yeah. The church is being persecuted across the world. You're seeing Christians raped, robbed, beheaded, taken into slavery. You're seeing leaders around the the, the world conspire against the people of God mm-hmm. and against God. And some of our own leaders are doing it. Mm-hmm. And uh, the question is, are we going to be like Peter at that beginning and deny that we when somebody some you know maid comes up and questions him about you know weren't you aren't you one of the Galileans didn't yeah. you know no I never knew Greg Lancaster I knew who he was <laughs> I don't know who John Ramos is yeah. I've never watched that program I've v, never v, I've ne- mm, no no XTN something like that yeah SP but Pat Hamilton no but the thing about it is is that we're supposed to be confident in whom who we believe is Jesus Christ and this this 12 year old girl set an example for all of us. And you can go back, we'll make sure it's related to you, but you can watch the entire interview with superintendent of schools, Malcolm Thomas of Escambia County School System, and he just nailed it. He's a Christian, he's a he's a good uh, school superintendent, he loves the 42,000 kids he's over, and he says very specifically in detail, what are your rights as a student? Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. You know, a lot of people want to abide with the Lord, but they just don't have a plan to do it. You can request that plan today at iabide.org. I'm your host, Greg Lancaster, and we're so glad that you've joined us. Don't forget you can join us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Download our app and sign up for our newsletter, The Torch, at vfntv.com. I've enjoyed our time together. God bless.